And now only on floor, it's been two years since the Texas Department of Public Safety started its surge on the border. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz got a look at the latest data on Operation Secure Texas. She has our report from Austin. Marcy and Eddie DPS Director Steve McCraw addressed the Public Safety Commission in Austin today about the effectiveness of border security funding. In his report, he stated that Hidalgo and Star Counties continue to pose the highest threat for drug and human smuggling in Texas. Every Texan has to care about what happens in the Rio Grande Valley. After two years of increased state trooper presence in the Valley, the Department of Public Safety still labels Hidalgo and Star Counties as unsecured. Secured. It is our number one priority right now and is going to remain that way. At a Public Safety Commission meeting today, DPS Director Steve McCraw presented a report on the efficiency of the $800 million the state legislator dedicated to border security last year. Texans ought to know with what money they've dedicated, whether we've achieved unsecured, minimal control, operational control, or substantial control. The department has previously been criticized for not providing enough concrete data about operation security. Texas. McCraw offered a county by county threat level breakdown and recommended ways to improve data collection, something State Representative Terry Canales applauded. None of this was in place, and so um, he, he saddled with, with, a, with an enormous task of trying to evaluate the progress of law enforcement over an enormous area and trying to do so accurately and transparently. As the agency continues its mission to station more troopers on the border permanently, temporary deployments will continue. McCraw pushed back against the notion that troopers from other parts of Texas are unfamiliar with the border and therefore less effective. That, that argument made sense at one time, but I can, I can go anywhere in the state and people have been down to the border multiple times, sometimes 50 times on waves. And these men and women, no other agency would do what they've been able to do. And I'm very proud of them. One report showed that drug seizures in Hidalgo and Star counties had decreased since 2014 and seizures for drugs in Willisee and Cameron counties had increased. McCross says that once Hidalgo and Star are secured, the the focus of the surge will switch to new problem areas. In Austin, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.